Knitting on the Farm podcast. My name is Angela and I'm coming to you from County Down in Northern Ireland and this is my YouTube channel where I record a little bit of my crafting life and uh, life as a dairy farmer's wife. So sometimes there's little snippets of what's going on in the farm included as well. This podcast isn't going to be just the normal podcast. I want uh, to use it just as an opportunity to chat about the Christmas gift smile that was running in the podcast group from the 25th of July to the 25th of November. So I want to announce the winners in the threads in it and I want to keep my knitting and crafting for being able to share it in the vlogmas videos now that will be starting on the 1st of December and it might give me an opportunity to just share a wee bit more about each item and I think this year because there isn't a lot of places to go to we're in two weeks of lockdown here and already we know there's not going to be any sort of Christmas craft fairs and markets and things so I think a lot of people's vlogmas this year are going to be from indoors so I'm going to use it as an opportunity to share my knitting and other crafting that I'm doing. So I want to first of all say thank you so much for everyone that took part in the Christmas Gift Smile 2020 in both the chatter thread and also in the finished object thread. There were so many beautiful, beautiful pieces and lots of great ideas for patterns and people were sharing their patterns and ideas and I think it went really, really well. That's only my second uh, giveaway and thread in Ravelry so I'm so pleased that so many people enjoyed it and the items in the finished object thread were absolutely beautiful. There were some lovely hats and socks sweaters, dishcloths and I think my favourite was actually the beautiful Christmas baubles. I enjoyed seeing them so so much and I think there was maybe 22 of them so either 22 or 12 I suppose that's a big difference but somewhere in round there um, I really enjoyed seeing them because it's something I would love to have for my tree but it's not anything that I have ever attempted. So I will announce the, the winners and just how the prizes are going to work and then there is one piece of knitting I want to show you and that's just because the pattern was released today and I was a test knitter for it. So I will start with the chatter thread. I noticed in the chatter thread there were some finished objects as well but I just took it as the chatter thread. I didn't start to take those out or anything off the thread. I just left it as as it was and the number of entries that there were. So I took it um, as the number of entries that Ravelry told me that there were. So I started it at number two because obviously mine was the first entry. So there were 73 entries then in the chatter thread. And there were 93 entries in the finished thread, so that was fantastic. I put the numbers into random number generator and the winner of the chatter thread was Nutty Knits 77. And I'm not sure what your name is, Nutty Knits, but you were knitting a beautiful pair of socks for your son. They were really, really nice and the colour of yarn was beautiful. And at that stage, when I seen the post, you just had started on the cuffs and you were knitting the two of them. So I'm sure they are finished by now. I didn't, um, I can't remember whether I seen them in the finished object thread or not, but well done to Nutty Knits 77. So the prize that I have is a uh, actual prize um, and you live in the United Kingdom so I think there should be no problem in you getting this for Christmas if I get it posted off. So I made this uh, bag. It's a generous size sock bag. It's one of the few that I've made. It has a box bottom, a nice Christmas fabric. Um, the lining is cream with little, I think it's little flowers on it. 
and the drawstring is just some ribbon and it says Merry Christmas on it. So I would like to get that in the post to you and I hope that you, you like it and you'll be able to maybe use it for if you do a Christmas Eve cast on or if you uh, are knitting some things for Christmas. There's also a little tab and I have attached a Christmas tree to it. It's by no means a perfect bag but uh, I made it and I thought it would be a nice a nice gift just for the podcast group and there'll also be some surprise goodies I'm sure inside that. So uh, thank you Nutty Nuts for taking part and if you would like to contact me so that I can get your address and I can get this off in the post that would be great. You can contact me on Ravelry through the messages or you can give me a direct message to uh, my email account or even if you're on Instagram and you want to send a direct message to there that's fine too. On Instagram my address is knitting on the farm with all the underscores and uh, pop a DM in there if you want if that's easier for you and if not uh, just get in touch with me through Ravelry when you see this. If I haven't heard for, from you by sort of mid next week I'll get in touch and try and sort out getting this prize popped off in the post to you. So congratulations on uh, winning that and thank you for taking part if I haven't already said that. So then the finished object thread, the winner of the finished object thread is from New Zealand. So that's quite a bit away and the winner's uh, name on Ravelry is M's Little Nest. And she was knitting a lovely pair of socks for her hobby. So um, they were beautiful. I loved the yarn and they knit up uh, lovely. And I'm sure he's really pleased with them or will be if he's getting them for a Christmas gift. As I say, uh, M's Little Nest is from New Zealand. And I know to post a parcel at the moment, I just wouldn't like to risk that because the postal service is so slow and I would be afraid of it not getting there. So what I decided to do was, M's Little Nest, if you would get in touch with me and you would choose a pattern out of your queue or out of your favourites and let me know, I will gift that to you and then that way I can be sure that you get a prize. And I hope that's okay with you. Um, if you have any problems with that, just get in touch and we can sort something else out. So thank you very much for taking part and well done to the lovely pair of socks. So that is the entries then and the winners of the Christmas gifts make along. I think come the new year I probably will have another one. Watch out also for Lindsay of Stitch Create Love. She will be podcasting soon to announce the winners for the sewing aspect of the uh, competition or the threads and um, she was looking after all that side of things and she will be announcing her prizes very shortly I was talking to her uh, earlier on today and I think she maybe just has one thread and everything's in there so uh, I think there's a couple of prizes too so you never know if you've been doing some sewing or um, dressmaking or things like that you might be in with a chance of winning a prize. So that's Lindsay of Stitch Create Love. And if you're on Instagram, it's easy to find her because she has a link with all the different places. And thank you so much, Lindsay, for taking part when I asked her. She just said, yes, no problem. So it was really nice to have someone else hosting the, hosting the make along and keeping me right since I haven't done these before. So I think that's everything to do with the giveaways. I don't have anything don't have anything else much to say about them and we'll get another one going in the new year. There are loads of giveaways going going around in the podcasts and don't forget that you're able to double dip. I know Nikki from Sheep and Cheerful podcast has quite a few threads going so pop across there and see if there's anything you can enter even 
even the knits that you finished for this one you might be able to double dip double dip and enter them over there and a uh, Kaz from the wee so and so has also got a thread going I noticed it so I would imagine it a lot of the podcasters at this time of the year all have some threads going and you might be able to join in and get the chance of winning some more prizes so I said I just wanted to talk about one item um, that I have knit and I knit these as a test knit um, for Ellie of Craft House Magic and Ellie needed a test knitter and I said I would knit them so her pattern is just released today and as far as I know it is included in her advent boxes or uh, sock kits that she's doing now that I'm sure you probably have them maybe by now but the pattern was released today then that uh, anyone could purchase it so I thought it was it was okay to okay to show it so this is her sock pattern it is called mistletoe and kisses and I have the have the two of them and um, you will notice a difference my husband said I'd made a mistake I can rest assured I hadn't so I did the cuffs in the contrasting color this was from my floozy cardigan that I knit from with yarn from Eden Cottage Yarns so I thought it would be nice to put them into the socks and then the main yarn is from my Life of Bird Sock Club that I've been getting this year from Sherry Aris and it was the June Sock Club and the bird was called the Green Woodpecker I think this uh, drawing here is done by Sherry's son and they're beautiful the kits are lovely the way they're done up I've talked about them loads of times and I'll maybe talk about them in a wee bit more detail and less rushed someday on vlogmas but uh, that was the that was the yarn sometimes Sherry's yarn is is speckled but this one's sort of kind of striped and I really liked it. So on one sock, I did the heel in the contrast and the other sock, I just knit it straight through. And then I did the vice versa on the toe. I don't have these blocked just yet now. So they're not showing their best, but I, I did want to share them just on the podcast. If you notice on the heel, I hope you can see here the little kiss. It's beautiful. It's such an extra wee detail. And it's on it's on both sides. So um Ellie socks, I know her candy cane ones have also got a a Christmas tree heel and she has another pair that has a heart so it's really nice and it has little bobbles on the top and then a little bit of lace work but the fantastic thing is once you do that it's uh, plain sailing as they say right down just knit round after round so if you're knitting these as advent socks, you can watch your Christmas movies, you can uh, drink your coffee, eat your mince pies, and you won't get lost in a pattern. So it's a clever, clever idea. So today, I'm not sure whether it's for all weekend or not, but I know today for the pattern release, there's 10% discount. So pop over to Ellie's website, uh, Craft House Magic and she's on instagram and she also does a podcast on youtube and i'm sure you all all know of ellie and you'll get 10 percent discount on your pattern you could keep it as a nice christmas eve cast on you could use it as an advent cast on and you'll really enjoy the knit 
so that was the only knit that i just wanted to show you today um as i say i'll show you the re rest of my things and incoming goodies and that as i go through vlogmas just before i go with regard to vlogmas i am not sure that i am going to be uploading vlogmas every day i do intend to record every day and put it together but if there's not enough to upload it i'll just keep two or three days and then i'll upload them together and that way i'm not stressing to try and find things to upload and i can really enjoy vlogmas it's not going to be a professional setup it's just going to be like my podcasts what you see is what you get and i hope you enjoy it uh, with regard to the advent sundays i am hoping to look at the history of some of the carols that we sing and just the background to them and uh, the history of them and uh, you know i hope to um share some of the, share them in music as well so that's what i intend to do for the advent sundays this year so i hope you maybe enjoy that and um, it's a nice nice music the ones i've chosen are lovely they're very well known and i hope you hope you enjoy them so i'm going to pop off now thank you for watching congratulations to all the winners and Please get in touch that I can get the prizes sorted out and out in the post to you or gifted across to your uh, Ravelry uh, library. And I hope to see you again now come the 1st of December. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will see you soon. Bye for now.